Grok is on the left and GPT-4 is on the right. And this prompt right here says, please help a non-technical person understand the value of low latency inference in the context of AI applications. And I'm gonna press enter on GPT-4 and I'll copy and paste the prompt over here to Grok and I'll go ahead and press enter now. All right, and Grok is already finished as GPT-4 is still chugging away over here. And that right there is the magic of Grok. It provides ultra low latency responses, nearly instantaneous. And it's this sort of technology that will be shaping the path forward for AI development and how it's implemented into our everyday lives. But we'll get to more on that later in the video. Before we do that, let's go and check out the Grok platform and how you can use it. But before we do that, we should go over what exactly is Grok because it's not an LLM, it's not an AI model, it's actually a hardware company. And just so that we are on the same page, we're talking about Grok with a Q here, not Grok with a K, which is the AI chatbot that you'll find on X. They actually sent Elon Musk a cease and desist for using the same name, but that's a whole nother story. Really the most important thing that you need to know for right now, at least in regards to Grok, is they've created what's called the LPU inference engine. With LPU standing for Language Processing Unit, it's essentially a new type of computer chip that was designed specifically to handle the workloads of LLMs and AI applications to help them run much more efficiently. And here's a picture of the Grok chip. Just by looking at it, you can tell that it was designed for efficiency. And coming back up here, the inference part of this uh, is really referring to the amount of time that it takes for the AI application to process our request and generate a result. And obviously the quicker that it can do that, the better user experience that we'll have. And again, that opens up new doors as far as the types of AI applications that can be developed and implemented into our everyday lives. But again, I'll get to that later in the video. There are two ways that you can start using Grok today. And one of those is by using their Grok Cloud. If you're a developer, you can access their API and actually go and start developing AI applications that utilize this inference engine. And the other way to start using Grok is by using Grok Chat on their platform. And that's what we'll go ahead and do right now. To use Grok, you just wanna to go to grok.com, that is G-R-O-Q.com. And that brings you directly to the dashboard. And to be honest, there's not really much of a dashboard here. This is mostly for demonstration purposes only to demonstrate the speed of their inference system. And you don't even have to log in, but you can if you want to. You can also adjust the settings in the upper right-hand corner by clicking on settings. And from here, you can adjust things like the speed, the maximum output tokens, maximum input tokens, and a few other settings as well. You can also adjust the initial system prompt. This is kind of the initial underlying prompt that helps direct the chatbot on how to respond to you. And for example, mine says, please try to provide useful, helpful, and actionable answers with a sense of humor. And I'm just gonna go and click save. And one of the really cool things about Grok is you can actually choose between different models that you want to power your AI chatbot. And for example, we have the option to use Llama by Meta or Mixtral by Mistral or the Mistral 7B 8K model, uh, which is currently offline for updates. But I'm going to stick with Mixtral for now. And just like always to use the chatbot, you can just uh, type into the text box here. So my prompt says, please write a brief article on the value of low latency systems in the context of AI. And there we go, just like earlier, a nearly instantaneous response. Let's go ahead and check out this response really quickly and just kind of see what it says here. Sure thing, here's a brief article on the value of low latency systems. When it comes to artificial intelligence, low latency systems are absolutely essential. This is because many AI applications require real-time or near real-time responses in order to be effective. For example, consider a self-driving car. This type of vehicle relies on a variety of sensors and algorithms to navigate the roadways and avoid collisions. And I'm not going to read through all of that right now, but it seems like a pretty decent response. And a few other things that I want to show you all is, for example, it only took 530 uh, tokens per second to generate this response. And if you go down here to the bottom, it gives you a little bit more information as well. So the end to end time was just over one second. That is incredibly fast. That's from the time that we click submit to when we actually got the response back. And if you want to get more information, you can click on the more information button right here. And that will show us some more data. And one that's really cool is this 
inference time right here, that is essentially the time that it took to think through the input and generate a response. And that is just at 0.85 seconds, which is amazing. Let's go ahead and compare the responses that we got earlier in the video between Grok and GPT-4 just to compare the quality between the two. Here are the responses from the beginning of the video uh, when I asked both GPT-4 and Grok to uh, please help a non-technical person understand the value of low latency inference in the context of AI applications. And earlier, whenever I did this demonstration, I was using the Llama model. And since then I did change it to Mixtral. So I got a response here from both Llama and Mixtral. We'll start with Llama. And it starts off by saying, sure, I'd be happy to explain. Imagine you're trying to order a pizza. You call it the pizza place and you're put on hold. You wait and wait and finally someone picks up to take your order. Okay, that's for a very, very, very non-technical person. And it goes on saying, now imagine that the pizza place has a magic button that can make your pizza appear instantly. Okay, that's kind of a little too abstract for what we're trying to do here. Let's go and check out the mixtural response. And I used the same prompt, of course. And this says, of course, I'd be happy to help. Low latency inference is important in AI applications because it allows for faster processing and decision making by the AI system. Uh, it goes on to talk about self-driving cars. When a self-driving car is on the road, it needs to be able to process information from its sensors and make decisions quickly. Okay, I really do like this response. It is, you know, obviously aimed at a non-technical person, but it's also not totally abstract to where it's talking about a pizza button. <laughs> And let's go ahead and check out the GPT-4 response. Low latency inference in AI applications refers to the ability of an AI system to process and respond to input data quickly with minimal delay. And it goes on to talk about the different use cases, enhanced user experience. Imagine you're having a conversation with a voice assistant or chatbot, real-time decision-making. Okay, so obviously I really like the GPT-4 response a lot better. It's definitely more organized. It's providing real world use cases. Um, I like how it provides the titles of the different sections. But again, the real value in Grok right now is the speed and the low latency. And again, one of the really cool things about Grok is how you can change out the different open source models. And it's really only a matter of time before these open source models catch up to the quality of GPT-4. And then we have the GPT-4, or by that time, GPT-5 quality uh, with the speed of Grok, uh, which is really just going to be paving the path forward on how uh, AI is developed and applied to our everyday tech and lives, such as our smartphones, which brings us on to the next part of this video, how Grok will be essentially uh, paving the path forward on how AI is developed and applied in our everyday lives. Let's go and check that out. On the about page of grok.com, they list a few of the partners that they're already working with. And I find this interesting because it gives us some insight into the future as far as the types of companies and applications that will be utilizing this ultra low latency technology to, again, uh, build the AI applications that will be utilizing in our everyday lives that are actually practical. And one of those that really stood out to me is this company right here called Vapi. They're a platform that allow you to build, test, and deploy voice bots in minutes. And let's just go over to their website really quickly. I created a demo uh, with their AI voice bot, which I'll show you here in a second. And I just really want you to notice the ultra low latency and just how really instantaneous the responses are. And it's really that difference right there that will make this a practical application in the real world versus just a novelty. So let's go and check that out. Oh, hey, sorry, I must have dozed off for a second there. Welcome to Vapi. I'm an AI assistant, but you can talk to like a person. So how's your day going? Uh, it's going pretty well. How's your day going? Haha, -ha. sounds like you're having quite the conversation with your keyboard there. I'm doing great. Thanks for asking. And yes, I can handle a mix up like that with no problem. So what can I help you with today? Uh, what exactly does Vapi do? Oh, good question. Vapi is like your personal AI sidekick. I can help you out with all sorts of stuff like answering questions, setting reminders, or even just chatting if you're feeling lonely. Just let me know how I can assist you today. How much does Vapi cost? Ah, uh, the cost question. Well, Vapi's base cost is five cents per minute. 
But keep in mind that there might be additional charges from the providers we integrate with like OpenAI, PlayHT, Eleven Labs, and DeepGram. You can bring your own. Okay, so it's not quite instantaneous just yet, but the ultra low latency is definitely noticeable. Definitely improvement from what we've been used to with these AI applications and voice bots over the past couple of months and the past years. And it's really just a matter of time until they continue reducing that latency and it truly is an instantaneous response. So I really wanna hear what y'all think in the comments below. And if y'all got any value out of this video, I'd appreciate it if you go ahead and like and subscribe and I'll see y'all in the next video.